so good to see you, Sean. It's great to see you, too. We are the Nationals. Our other host is our Kevin Garcia Doyle. Let's see him. Maybe I'm here. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. We don't know. It's a mystery. <gasps> it's, it's like you like magic. That's you're okay. Like I'm magic. A, I'm oh, there's Mookie Harris. There's David hey, Lamb. There's that's me. This is Ooh, all the our Kevin Garcia Doyle. We are the Nationals. This is an interesting, interesting day. Hey, Sean, it's <laughs> great to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm just smiling. I'm great. <laughs> we are the Nationals. Uh, we are we are monthly these these weeks, and uh, we are thrilled to be back. Tonight is a really special night for us uh, because we have a couple of our friends from way back in the day, as they say. Yes, uh, indeed. It was the day, and we were back in it. Yes, uh, all up in it. Uh, as we would like as to the say. kids say in in 2004 but uh, yes. <laughs> but we were uh, we were all part of a, a, a great message board uh, that was an improvisation based message board called yesand.com and uh, we were talking about who we wanted to really wanted to perform with some and two names leapt to the top of that list and they said no. So fortunately, we also had uh, Mookie Harris and uh, Lampy, who are going to be here with us today. Uh, they were they were the top two names. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I, would like to, 
I would like to go and just say, first off, I'd like to go and just bring in David and I'd like to bring in Mook. Yay, both of them, they're <laughs> awesome. Uh, David, David Lampy is from Austin, Texas. He, I met him at the, the old Big Stinkin' Improv Festival numerous times. He's absolutely amazing. Then we got Mookie Harris, who happens hello. to be hello, who happens to be from Indiana, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. I mm -hmm. met you during comedy sports. Um, true. very true, and is one hell of a funny man. So that's all. Oh. I got to say. That's and I all would I have uh, to say about them. Like to say, I have I have a quick thing to say about each of them. Uh, Lampy has been keeping a low profile by performing in three cities across the Southwest. Uh, and the important thing to say about Mookie Harris is, and he's he's in his thirty one year of improvisation. And uh, I promised Lampy I would say that, so I've now said it, and I feel like I've done my duty to God and my country. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that he said duty. <laughs> <laughs> You still are like a 14 year old after all these 31 years. Hey! <laughs> that, that joke will always be funny to me. So. Every time. <laughs> He's a dude. He's a dude. Uh, uh, I did. Um, and with that, hey, um, hey, Ted Harris, who is our lovely OBS switcher. I love you so hey, much. Ted Harris. Hey, Ted Harris. Hi. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Oh, not much. No relation to Mookie Harris, but very much has the same last name. Because I'm his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, what? <laughs> Wait. Uh, sorry, I didn't dad? tell you sooner, Ted. Wait. Dad? Dad? Oh, dad does improv, Ted. Oh my <laughs> god. It all makes sense now. The glasses, the improv, the last hmm? name. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and the birthmark. <laughs> oh. Hey, I got a bunch of suggestions off my Facebook page. Off of I asked for the suggestion. Give us uh, something that your boss and or coworker something silly that you heard them say. There's a ton of them. There's apparently a lot of weird coworkers and bosses out there. So why don't you give me one of them so me and R can do five minutes and. Uh, give us the name so we can of course make fun of them yeah uh this one <laughs> this one is from uh orla mcgovern Orla. orla! hey orla <laughs> we <laughs> all love you orla and the, the the suggestion uh of what the boss said was can you be more irish more hoity toity <laughs> <laughs> oh, sitting there like a rat in the sack of potatoes. Yeah. Plus the lucky charms, they're magically <laughs> delicious. Right. <laughs> this, this uh, is the, uh, oh, she actually does. She. Oh my goodness. Are Are you ready to uh, do oh, this? Yeah. Car? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Five minutes. Let's do this. When Irish eyes are smiling. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. Uh, cut, cut. I'm sorry. That was a good start. Thank good you. Good start. But you know, Thank I you. just got to say, can you do it more Irish? Okay. Uh, I was. I just was singing an Irish song and just... All right, that was an Irish song. I admit that was an Irish song, but I'm looking for an Irish song that is even more Irish. Do you have any suggestions that Uh, I you know, could... let's uh, let's Wait. go with something. Let's go with something about the troubles. The troubles? Yeah, something about the troubles. That's more Irish, the isn't troubles. it? The troubles. The troubles. Isn't that a Star wait, wait, wait. Isn't that a Star Trek, Star Wars No, thing? no, you're thinking Tribbles. Ah, tribbles. Uh, well, I just got finished Trek. doing, I just got finished doing a Star Trek. It, it was hard to, okay. Uh, more Irish. More Thank you. Irish. Yes. Okay. Uh, something about the Troubles. Uh, I only really know one Irish song. Okay. Um, 
When Irish eyes are smiling, better. and the better. great moment happens, what? Hmm? That is much better. Could you add more of a brogue? A brogue. A brogue. I, I need to ask you something, because sure. you're the, this is the first time I've seen you in this casting director's office. Yes. Uh, exactly how long have you been doing casting for LA Casting? It's funny you should ask that. Mm -hmm. Just two days ago, I found a pot of gold and I got a wish. And my wish, of course, like any sane person's wish should be, was to be an L.A. casting director. And now here I am. <laughs> what a waste of a dream. Listen, um, it seems to me that you actually know more about this than I do. I mean, you wished on gold. And you actually look more of a part of Irish than I do. I don't know why I got called in. I just even put in my headshot resume. Don't know why. Uh, maybe it was my name. <laughs> I bet you thought I was a man, didn't you? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, I admit that uh, I admit that O'Reilly did make me think you might be Irish. I, I have yeah, to admit that. Admit well, you know, there's a lot of African Americans who get bumped by Irish people. But that's Yo, I, I have American. a thought for you. I have a thought for you. I have a thought. Yes. For you. I can give you a thought. Is it all right if I have a thought? It's all good for thoughts. You know any what? For, any for it. <laughs> you know what? You know, you know who's really Irish? Really, who? really Irish? Van Morrison. Van Morrison. Van Morrison. He's named uh, after a car. Yes, I, I know. You want me to sing a Van Morrison song? Sure, that's that's Irish. Uh, any particular Van Morrison song you would like me to sing? How, how about uh, Wild Nights? Is that what it is? Wild Life? Wild Nights. Wild Nights. Wild Nights. You know, the, you know, one, that's, the one that's copywritten. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. The sure. this whole audition taken down off the internet, that one. Uh, I, I, I would prefer, uh, I, I really, um, uh, I feel really, I, I know the last time I came in, I told somebody I could play guitar and I didn't. And I went back and learned three chords and I wait, got wait, the gig. Wait, wait. Um, but you, this, you, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I'm just sorry. I, I am, of course, a person of Irish descent here. Did you say you lied about your musicality? Yes. You got the part. That's the Thank most you. Irish thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> oh, no. I've been there. And then in my brain, I'm trying to do a brogue accent. And then in my brain, I'm trying to think of Van Morrison songs. And then, <laughs> and then I shut down. And and then I cry small African American tears. Ah. Um. <laughs> you are Irish too. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, bring us back up, Ted. Bring us back up. Because <laughs> I see, I see a terribly dark screen. Uh, where we should be. Uh, <laughs> there we there are. You are. Yeah, this is a good day. And today is All right. a good day. Every, um, every day that we're alive. It is a good day. Good exactly. Day. Hey, um, I would like to see, I have literally performed at some point or another with these two men, but are you haven't. Who would you like to play with first? And by the way, all of us can come in and out and play. Uh, well, let's start with uh, Mr. Mr. Lampy here, because uh, we're diagonal right. to each other on the screen, mm -hmm. yeah, like that. Awesome. Ted, uh, go and give us another suggestion off the wall of awesome. Here, let me see, let me see. Uh, I have here, uh, you're not afraid to speak the tr truth to power, loosely translated as, I am power, and you should be afraid. That's by. Did you got? Who is that? Sinead A. Willard. Another woman of Irish descent. Um, <laughs> I will let you guys do the voodoo Sinead. that you do so well. You 
you're not afraid to speak the truth to power. And this is good because I am the power and you should be maybe a little bit afraid. God, I promise you, I am a little bit afraid of you. I, I always have been a little bit, uh, you know, I've been a, I've been a God-fearing man. I, I do fear you, but I feel like I owe you the truth. I asked you for one thing. Okay. One thing only. Yes. And you told me that this one thing you could not do. I, I just don't have the ability to give snakes legs. I, I would be happy to, but I, I just that's just not within my wheelhouse. It is so sad watching them crawl along on their bellies. Uh, you it's know, unfortunate I, because now I find myself in a situation in which I must extend your legs to our serpentine friends. Do you well, understand what I'm saying? I, I guess if, if I have to give up my legs so the snakes can walk, then, uh, then God, I'm, I'm with you on this. I am 100% with you on this. Yes, it is a hard thing being not only uh, almighty, but also rather vindictive and mafioso-like. However, I have... Another option for you, Angel. Gosh, that's uh, that's really generous of you. Mm -hmm. I would oh. like for you to instead allow them, maybe not to walk, but to fly. Okay. Flying serpents would be magical. You know, uh, I, I could give them wings. I, I admit that. I could give them wings, but... Why couldn't you give them legs then? Wings are harder than legs. But you said, no, I can't give them legs. But now you say you can give them wings? What is wrong with the, this, the, the mathematics here are off? I'm a wing angel. I am not a leg angel. You made me Please. to make wings. Please, all out. Yeah, did you talk to the wing angel? Did you happen to talk to him? I hmm? was just discussing the situation with the snakes. With right, the wing. Right. I I was unfortunate. I started with the legs. Right. But I'm thinking. Ah. Great idea. Right. Wings and legs make we them really big. And rename them dragons. We got a situation here with the bigger guy above me. Uh, you're you're kind of screwing up here with the uh, little guy, the wing guy. <clears throat> He's been getting away with a lot of stuff passively aggressively. Yeah? You got to do something, you know, because all of this crap with legs and wings and not deciding on what's going on, you know, this has to stop because it's affecting my bottom line, literally and figuratively. I'm, I'm working like I'm, 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 I'm extrapolating here. I mean, he already put wings on. Extrapolate up. harder! Extrapolate harder! What's your problem, huh? What are you, some kind of leg for goo? What's going on here? Huh? Do something before I get uh, before I get sent down to purgatory, huh? Okay. We take the wings off the penguins, and we take the wings off the chickens because they're not using them anyway. That looks ridiculous! That looks ridiculous! By the way, I hate penguins! I hate penguins! I freaking hate the little tuxedo bastards! Hate them! <laughs> you making these penguins was bad enough for me! And now, all of a sudden, yes, this is why you're here. I had to send the other one down to purgatory, yeah? Sit down. Sit down, you winged weirdo. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> you weirded penguin weirdo. This is what you get. 
This is what you get. You go and make all the stuff, I turn you into a freaking penguin. Enjoy that, huh? Enjoy that. Yeah, I know. I know. By the way, nice tuxedo. <laughs> I hate penguins. <laughs>
Everybody is hear me this far away, Luke. How's your mom, Luke? Oh no. Oh, he didn't answer. That's bad news. My, 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 mom, mom, mom is fine, fine, fine. Oh. But it's, the, it's the lag time that's hurting him really badly, guys. Lag in Ravine is even worse than lag on Zoom. Whoa, I no. I agree with that. Canyon lag. Ooh. I'm around, around the corner. No, no, no. Which corner? It's a ravine. There's only one on the corner. He's right. When they built this ravine, they only made it with one right angle. Yeah, and back scene. in back. Okay, scene. Okay. <laughs> Just waiting for the scene to echo there a little bit. <laughs> hey, so right. we, I would really like to see you start a scene with one of uh, one of our attractive and uh, talented guests here. I would. I would like to start a scene with Loki, please. Yay! Give me so, another suggestion, Ted, off the wall of Austin. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I have here... Oh, they can't hear me. Hold I on. I think Ted and is I off. have a suggestion right here. Bop, 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 bop. Um, oh, okay. During a shift, this is not a bit. This is Ben Gonzalez. This is real life. Uh, it says, it may have been a mistake for all three of us to be on acid at the same time. <laughs> Also, it may have been a mistake for all three of us to be on acid at the same time. <laughs> are, you, are you ready for this? Bring this yeah. shift. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh. <laughs> it's red. It's red. Everything's red. Everything's red. Everything. Ah! Ah! Blood! Is that what? Oh, it's wine. I can't open my eyes. If I open my eyes, everything happens at once. Don't open them because every time you open them up, lasers shoot out of them. And mouths come out. Where? Where? <laughs> I laugh because I cry. I'm really crying. What kind of acid is this? What kind of acid is this? What? <laughs> what do you see? I see you, but like 40. 40 of you. It's amazing and cool. Are we all swaying back and forth, freaking you the fuck out? Yes. I think yes. we should get back to work. <laughs> Boy, are these freshies going to look fucked up because the only thing I see is dancing numbers. I just see dancing numbers. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to, to do any of this accounting work. <laughs> Does it? I, you know what I see? I just see white men dancing around on my screen. Just dancing, 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 dancing around on my screen. Oh, 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 my screen turned into a marshmallow. No, I still see dancing white guys, and they seem like they're in front of big buildings. Big buildings dancing. <laughs> Are you ready to go to work now? Sure. White You're man, all who's my boss? Colors. We're is... ready to open the doors to our customers, customers now. I would love to talk to the customers just like this. <laughs> the dancing, the dancing is you. 
in Google my, in my head. Yeah. I need some. I, I, I. Can you hear him, Robert? Can you hear him? Barely. Yeah, Go ahead the, and let the customers in. Let the customers in. Let's see. Let's let the customers in. Let the, the doors in. are now open. Yes. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Come in. Come in. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Subway. Welcome to Subway Sandwiches. <laughs> and see. <laughs> I I teach height. Yeah, you've been on acid. Yeah, um, me. Uh, once, and it was. <laughs> The worst experience of my life. I, um, if you're seeing white guys dancing, that's obviously that, a candidate for worst. That's a horror dancing. right there. Well, uh, here's uh, the thing. I actually saw I saw yeah. spaghetti. I saw spaghetti and worms on and yeah. I wish it was white guys dancing, uh, but I, instead I got spaghetti and worms. So oh. we never again. Let me go and do the decent drugs, um, like wine and and cigarettes. Um, get, um, David, would you like to play with me? Yes, I would love to. Well, okay. Um, give us another suggestion, Ted. The second suggestion is, uh, uh, by Nick Codon. He says... Nick Codon, I love Nick. He says, be the second monkey. Be the second monkey. Be the second monkey. Everybody's got something to hide, except for me and my monkey. <laughs> dad, 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 oh, dad, oh. dad, 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 yeah, dad, yeah, Rebecca, dad. yeah, yeah. What? One time, Rebecca. One time. We're good. I'm here. Dad. Hi, sweetie. Dad. Yes. Hi, sweetie. Dad. Dad, uh, I got, I got, I got my Curious George doll, and I got my Curious George doll, and it was to say good night to you. Well, good night to you, George, and and good night to you too, Rebecca. And I, yeah, I, I want you both to sleep tight and don't have any bad dreams, okay? Okay, I won't. Rebecca. Yeah. Particularly, don't have any bad dreams about the other monkey. What other monkey? The monkey that's not curious, George. Don't dream about him. Good night. No, no, wait, wait, Dad! 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 What's wrong? Dad! 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 Yes, oh, sorry. That's, yes, the sorry. Other, that's the other monkey! Where's the other monkey? Oh, the monkey oh, in my oh, room? Oh, oh. It's not, it's not another monkey. I was, I was overstating. It's not another monkey at all. It's okay, just a okay. single monkey paw. Good night. Okay. No, wait, Dad! 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 Dad. No, okay. Dad! What is it? Yes? I'm thinking about a monkey paw, and the monkey paw isn't nice to me. Don't make me go to sleep to a monkey paw. Oh, no, no, no. The monkey paw will be the, it will grant any wish that you ask it. The monkey paw's it magic. It'll give you any wish. Yay! But then okay. Okay. What? It turns incredibly wrong. Good night, Rebecca. Dad? Yes. Dad? Yeah. Yes. Then I go to bed. I won't have a talking monkey paw who will do really evil things to me. You're just playing with me, right? Ha! Isn't he? Isn't Daddy playing with us, Curious George? Where's the yellow guy detective in the suit when you need him, Dad? Rebecca, do you love me, Dad? I love you very much. 
Have I ever lied to you? That you uh, love? I love you too. Okay, I'm going to bed now. All right. You and Curious George sleep tight. And don't Bye. think about the monkey paw at all. I don't think about the monkey paw. I'm in bed now. Okay, I love you, Dad. Good Can night, Rebecca. Good night. I'm yeah, turning no. all the lights off now, okay? Don't, okay, can you just leave one on, like, uh, just the, the Wallace and Gromit, the shine light? Can you leave that one on? Rebecca, electricity yeah. costs money. Good night. Night. We're in the dark, curious, George. Rebecca. Rebecca. No, no, monkey paw! Oh, what no, do monkey you wish paw. for, Rebecca? I wish I wasn't in the dark right now! <laughs> Same. And I, I should be a father. <laughs> I should have children. Yes, I think you should have several. No. The skills are there. No. Yes, they're, they're solid. You're not yep. going to scare them or wound them or scar them ever. Nice. Um, I think I think you should read them bedtime stories on a constant. I would. The turn of the screw. Right yes. Oh, 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 Mookie, you want to play with me? Sure. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Yay. Uh, give us a suggestion, Ted. Yeah, this one comes from. Uh, Nadia Witt. And, Nadia Witt. Yes. yes. And it is, uh, an elevator pitch is like a pitch you would give someone at an airport. <laughs> the elevator pitch is like a pitch you would give someone at the airport. Got yeah. it. Airport pitch. <laughs> Mr. Williams, I know you're really in a hurry. I mean, just if you want to get in the elevator with me. Um, Idea, really fast before you get to the next floor. Hey, love American style meets American horror story. Love yes. American style meets American horror story. Boom, bada bang, bada boom. There it is. We get we get Woody Harrelson to do it. It's like it's like a it's like love. Uh, it's like love in a horror in a horror bloody mess. But the good guy wins. What do you think? What do you think? Think about that. Let me just pause that button. Sold. Until you think about it. We're on stop now. Greenlit, go with it. I like your thinking. Thank you. Woody Harrelson is perfect. Right, right. You know, he, he has that scary thing going on already. I mean, just years of that, right? Um, I can talk to his agent, and then his manager, and then his publicity person, and the hemp thing that he runs. Easy breezy cover girl. Bada bing, bada boom. Huh? Perfect. Get me Christopher Walken as well. Perfect. We'll sell Perfect. This. Perfect. I'll just unpause this and we'll get to the next floor. Wait, but oh. 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 <laughs> now it's awkward. Yeah, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm just Your pitch was very up. quick. And this is a very tall building. Yeah, I know. Uh, Wow. If only this um, were an airport. Uh, me too. I mean, we can get out of here. Um, hey, I got another pitch. Yep. <laughs> if you want to listen to it while we keep going up. Um, I got nothing else to do. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, how about this? Uh, why don't we go and do Lucifer, uh, that new uh, series on uh, that uh, vamp, uh, devil one. Lucifer yes, yes. Uh, meets uh, This Is Us. Ooh. Lucifer meets This Is Us. So the devil meets black people. The Perfect. devil meets black people. Uh, we can go and get um, a couple of, of uh, African, uh, actually more London Africans to do African Americans because, you know, that, that's how we do it in Hollywood. And, uh, you know, just get me one. Idris Elba. Sounds good. And Ossie Davis. So, Ozzie Davis, I think, might be dead. The ghost of Ozzie Davis. 
I can do that. I can I can wrangle with his uh with his uh, dead agent. I can do that. I Perfect. can do that. Wow. Um. How about this? Yes. Yes. Anything. I've run out of ideas. Star Trek Discovery, the new one. Yeah. On the Discovery Channel. See, that makes sense. See, that makes sense. That makes sense. Discovery it's meets about Discovery. How about this? Space. How about this? Two Go. men and a baby stuck in an elevator. Two men and a baby stuck in an elevator. How about that one? How Rise about itself. that one? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. How about, uh, how, about, how, about, how, about, how about a reality show about awkwardness? About two people stuck in an elevator and it's awkward. How about that one? That, 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 you, that can run on TLC. That can run I can on TLC. I already picture it. Yeah, you just get two people in an elevator, you press the pause button, it gets stuck, and then you realize you have to go up 42 or more floors, and that's an entire series, and you just film it for 12 hours, and then and then you just break it down into segments, so it's exactly 14 episodes that runs on TLC. Bada ping, bada boom, oh my god, where will this elevator and Why aren't we filming this right now? I don't know! I don't hey. know! <laughs> <laughs> oh, love, elevator meetings. Love American elevator style meetings. meets American horror story. I would yeah. Watch, I would watch the heck out of that show. Absolutely. <laughs> love American <laughs> horror style. Love American mm. horror style. There it is. There you go. Um, we're pitching our own shows. Anybody who's watching <laughs> would like to like to go and pick all of us up for, for a series. Um, yes. Let's go in and out of scenes, start off, play. Uh, we got maybe about 15 more minutes, 20 more minutes. Um, mm -hmm. Give me a suggestion, uh, Ted, for all of us to go in and out of scenes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, okay. This one is, um, this one's from Stephanie Ray. It's uh, my student. My, it's a uh, my student showed up without a shirt on. <laughs> my students showed up without a shirt on. Oh, by the way, Stephanie Ray will be performing with myself and our Kevin Doyle in November on the Nationals. Let's see how that works out, shall we? <laughs> but with that, without a shirt on, let's do it. Principal, Principal, Principal Kush. Oh my God, Principal Kush, you don't have a shirt on either. I'm sorry. I didn't expect anyone in my office right now. My, my student showed up without his shirt on as well. We were just in here exercising. That's all. Oh. It's for our health. It's oh. for our health. I am so sorry. I, I always overreact to things. Uh, please carry on with your shirtless exercising. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go back to class. And keep in mind, your student might be just exercising as well. All right. All right. That's a good point. That's a, Mr. That's Crandall, a point. you ruined it. I, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to insert myself. Oh, excuse in me. Are you guys <laughs> done yet? Or... Oh. No, you're just in time. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Guess, guess who ruined What's... the vibe? Mr. Oh. Crandall. I just, my my student ran in without his shirt on, and I was kind of concerned, and uh, uh, I just I I didn't realize it was exercise day. Yes, it's exercise day. All of us are exercising. Exercising. All right. Well, uh, carry on. Uh, light some incense. Oh, stay, stay, stay. A Stick good, around. A good you exercise, can exercise is with a us. fantastic exercise, huh? You know, the way I figure it is this. Every once in a while, you just have to get good exercise, don't you think? I, uh... uh it, it, it just, it, you know, it just brushes up. I mean, now watch me now. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. Good, just like I taught you. Perfect. Exactly. 
It's just the human body. It's just flesh. It's just flesh. Mr. Crandall? Yes. You need to call on me. Oh, sorry. Uh, Johnny. Yes, Mr. Crandall. Why are you so intimidated by a topless body? Exactly. Well, Do you have body issues? Well, you know, I grew up in a very oppressive environment and uh, and it was, you know, they, we, we always were taught, you know, keep your clothes on in public, especially in a professional work setting, especially in education. Uh, right. So it just, I guess I'm a little, I, I'm a little uptight about it. I admit it. I'm a little uptight about it. And Mr. Crandall, you're not alone. Everyone here in this room was uptight about it when I first started here. I, I, was, I was horrified. I was absolutely horrified until he told me that I need to embrace what I have, and as you can see, that's quite a lot. Perfect. I think, think of it this way, Mr. Crandall. Your skin is a clothing for the meat inside you. You're exactly. already wearing clothing. Exactly. Oh. Oh. oh You've well, got I... an excess of clothing on you right now. You know, I, I got to say, when, uh, when you guys hired me to work at this Franciscan school, I never thought it would be like this, but sure, why not? Go ahead, Mr. Crandall. Let's see if we can get that Go on. ahead, Mr. Crandall. Mm. Yes. Come you on, probably Mr. Crandall. You probably have gotten the first, that's, 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 you oh. got it, Mr. Crandall. It, yeah. There, there you go, Mr. Crandall. Oh, my scheme is working for yeah. before. They're all taking their no, shirts. Oh, Mr. Crandall, you're just in a tunnel Perfect. now. Oh, gosh. Okay, give me a minute. I'll get there. Oh, this is all working out so well. <sighs> oh, oh. <sighs> you're you're um, really close. You're really close. I actually see a net. Uh, oh. There you are. Everyone's uh, doing so well. I'm glad to see you overcoming all your fears. And uh, Wait a minute. Why are you still wearing clothes? Oh, I'm the teacher. <laughs> Then Spain. <laughs> I'm going off camera now. <laughs> hey, let's get a, we have a few minutes left here. Let's get a, Ted, if you don't mind, let's get another quote from another person here. Here I am in Hawaii and I am wearing the second most clothes of anybody in the room. And that's not our quote. <laughs> Did you have it? A t-shirt on under oh, yeah. your Hawaiian oh, shirt? Oh, a t-shirt here because, uh, because one thing about being in Hawaii is there's a certain amount of sweat involved. Okay. That's, yeah. that's like on the slogan, like when you get to Hawaii at the airport, that's yeah. like on the welcome that's side, That's on the right? airport. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to Hawaii. There's a certain amount of sweat involved. Uh, that's... Uh... Okay. All right. Aloha. 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 Oh my God. All right. Oh, Sean is ready. Uh, so, uh, Ped, if you don't mind, why don't we get another quote off of uh, the wall of quotes? Okay. Uh, Please don't let it be a nudist camp. <laughs> uh, this comes from uh, Troy DeVloyd. Uh I think I said that right. Uh, we had a meeting about. Uh, sorry, let me let me hold on. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, we had a meeting about it. It doesn't matter if it makes sense. We had a meeting, we had about, a meeting about, about, about it. It doesn't matter if it makes sense. Got it. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Let's all kind of get together. Let's gather about here. Let's gather about here. Um, first off, thank you very much for uh, coming. Um, I know this was a last minute uh, meeting, uh, but we really need to go and get a lot of things straightened out about our company and exactly who's in charge of what. Now, um, Dr. Johansson. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I have a question regarding your department. You were supposed to go and get out all of the scientific data two weeks ago, but unfortunately, Mr. William Hansen also said that he was supposed to do it, but that didn't happen. So can you please exactly tell me what happened to the scientific data that you were supposed to have to us and to uh, pretty much all the health officials? Yeah, it's not uh, too troublesome to explain. If you, it's a very simple if you get right down to it, you see. I had uh, the uh, all of the information that you needed, 
and I sent it to Mr. Uh, jo yeah, uh, uh -huh. are you with me? By the yeah, way, I'm it's Dr. Johansson. Mm, yeah, William Hansen, Not Mr. Yeah. You call me Mr. It's, it's doctor. Is doctor. it honorary PhD? Right. So I would like to be, you know, I'd prefer if you called me by my proper title, if it's not too much trouble. It's not much trouble at all, just as much as it's not trouble for you to get me the scientific data that I've had. I was going, going to explain. The data Please. is right there, and I passed it on to Williamson as I was supposed to. He was going it's to... Williamson! I'm it's sorry. Williamson. I um, am first off, first off, let, let me just stress that this office is allergen free and you brought your cat with you. The cat stays. Okay. So, uh, uh, go, run, chicky, be free, be free. Don't go into the, it just went into the kitchen. It just went into the kitchen. It just went into the kitchen. So, Dr. Johansson. You Please say you, know. you gave me the data. Is that what I, I gave you the data, the scientific data, because you're going to put it into a pretty little form to present to to our prof to to, to Miss Crandall before the meeting, oh. so we could. You're going to put your magic touch or your pictures in your binder. There you go, talking sweet to me again. I, Dr. Johansson, you know what that does to me. We oh, for crying out loud. I don't care what it does to you. We, we are in a meeting setting. I just need to get data. I don't care if you two are in love or slightly infatuated with each other. I mean, that's great, but please leave it out of the office and particularly in this meeting. That's going nowhere. I'm not getting what I need from you. Right I now, I have your reports for you. I Get see it, these reports and this is what it says. Mr. Williamson, these are text messages from you too. Mr. Williamson, it says here, I love you. We can't talk about this via text. We need to go and get the data. The data is ridiculous. Oh my God, what are you doing showing up without any shirt on, sir? I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's no. more effective this way. Williamson, is mm -hmm. this your new boy toy? Oh, is for this crying out. You haven't been calling me. You have a new boy toy to play with? I, if you haven't read your own text messages, I'll read them for you. Do you have a new boy toy? Yes, I have a new boy toy. Also, I'm bringing in my cat to make sure that she sneezes, which I have twice. You people have... Why am I the only person in this room that nobody is attracted to? That's what I want to know now. Ms. That's Crandall's what I want to know. You it, told me we were exercising. Miss uh. Crandall, you really need to get a hold on your company. We're all very disappointed in leadership. Well, if anyone listened to me and stopped bringing in cats who's now licking my feet, your cat is licking. That is a good kitty. <laughs> Williamson. Okay, then Williamson. just go. Go back to dad. Williamson, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, I just, it's, okay. I, it's okay, sweetheart. I I understand. Sometimes harsh words. I, I you know I still you know I, I get jealous a little bit. I I I should not flirt so much with the other men. You do. I, I, I do. Yeah, I do. It's, true. it's my own fault. It I am breaks so my heart. I am ready for a commitment. Oh, for crying out loud! I'm ready. I'm ready to give you both my company. You two can have all the love affairs and text messages without any data. I'm the only one who not only does all the work, I'm the one who's the least attractive. You guys knock yourself out. I'm going to kill myself with a fork in the in the lunchroom. And see. <laughs> a fork would not be very effective. <laughs> But it's a slow death. <laughs> it would be very slow. 
<laughs> we are five two. We should go and wrap this up. I would like to go and ask everybody what they're up to. Well, David, what are you up to um, after all this? Uh, lately, I'm teaching high school, and uh, I occasionally do a maestro at, uh, for the uh, for Hideout Theater, uh, and uh, those are online too. And by the way, all of you should sign up and do yeah. one too because there are a lot. Hideout of Theater, as mentioned by uh, by um, the the guy on the TV show. Who is oh yes, the Hideout Theater was mentioned. Yes, by uh, oh, today. They got a nice little bonus check because of that. It was very nice. Yeah. Which, let's face very it, nice. theaters need as much help as they can get right now. Exactly. Support, the theater. Support the hideout. It's a great Yes. Thing. And I hope to be traveling with troops again soon when this whole thing is blown over. Let's hope. Hey, Mookie, what are you up to next? I spend my days working at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, teaching uh kids and families about dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I uh, allegedly still perform with Comedy Sports Indianapolis, but it's been a hot minute because, hey, coronavirus. Right. Other than that, I spend the rest of my time apologizing for Mike Pence. <laughs> Thank you. And you Thank damn you. well better. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. All, all everybody who's from Indiana, who's not from Indiana, thank you. Oh, uh, hey, it's a ahead. whole thing, boy. Oh, man. Uh, uh, R, what are you up to next? Well, um, I'm directing a show for a local theater, from Okuhue Theater by Lee Cavaluna called Aloha Attire. Uh, but the thing that I'm really going to want to plug right now is uh, this weekend is the Hawaii Comedy Festival run by Prof H.I. and uh, Kimi Bamalero, who uh, you and I are both big fans of. And uh, that will be uh, starting tonight, actually, uh, through Sunday. So if you are interested in watching some comedy in Hawaii from anywhere in the United States, check out improvhi.com and they'll uh, hook you up. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> so we, um, as for me, tomorrow, uh, yeah, tomorrow I have a show with the seniors with Joseph Kyle Rogan. Uh, mm -hmm. So it will be a mixture of poetry and slam and all of us performing together. That is tomorrow, um, seniors at 4 p.m. Uh, uh, 4 p.m. call, 5 p.m. show, uh, 5 to 6 Los Angeles time. Uh, tomorrow morning, I am working with Fordham University and doing a comedy sports shot style show, uh, you know, for the kids. And <laughs> so, yeah, competition. Um, there will be a link up for anybody who would like to get up. I'm getting up super early. Why not everybody else um, to come and watch <laughs> all of us play? Uh, other than that, possible good news of moving back home. <gasps> what? Which home? Chicago. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. It's good that also there. classes good are there. happening at the Pack Theater in November. I'll, you know, hopefully we'll still be here by then. Hopefully or hopefully not. With that said, next month we're doing Stephanie Ray. Stephanie Ooh. Ray is an amazing improviser um, who will be performing with us. Um, on her birthday. It will be her birthday in November, nice. so please check our Facebook page, please check our YouTube page, please check the Pack Theater's website for all that fun stuff. Guys, it was a joy to play with you all. It was awesome. You guys yeah. are really rock. Thank you so much for, uh, for coming out and joining us here. Or staying in and joining us here, as the case may be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. This was such a, a nice treat after all these years to work with you guys. Uh, also, shout out to mom and dad in Raleigh. Yeah. Yay! Yay! So, with your family in Raleigh. With all that, <laughs> thank you so much for seeing us. Uh, I'm Sean Landry. I'm Mark Kippen Doyle. Thank you. We're the Nationals. Night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>